I was recently shopping for a backpacking tent. Wanted something that could go fly only for solo trips, but was a decent two-man tent for when I'm with a buddy. I found the Marmot Limelight 2P at REI on sale. Seemed like a good fit and the specs looked right. REI listed a pretty light complete tent with what seemed to be a fly-only weight. So I went to REI, test drove the fly-only setup, saw it kind of worked, bought the tent, and took it camping. Here's what I found. These are the specs from the REI website. My full setup ran about five and a half pounds and the fly footprint combo was a bit under four pounds. There are some nice videos online about setting up the whole tent, so I'll concentrate on the fly only setup. The tent comes with a footprint, which adds value over some other tents. To hoist the fly, just set up the poles in the footprint and clip it over. Might I point out that nowhere in Marmot's literature or website is there any mention of using this tent in the footprint fly configuration. Why? It's the next step that gets a little dicey. It's almost as if the designers intended to make a fly-only system, then forgot. The main problem is that this tent requires a spreader pole. It secures to the tent body, so if you leave that home, the spreader pole has nothing to hold it in place. I found that if you fasten it using the Velcro straps on the fly, and bungee it to the pole crossing at the top, it sits where it should. The other problem with the spreader pole is that the ends are pointy and push against the fly at an unreinforced point. I will probably sew on some webbing pockets to fix this, but until then I'll use these pieces of bark I whittled into load diffusers. All this resulting in the majestic canopy you see before you. That's my two cents regarding the fly-only setup. I thought you might like to see this tent's huge doors in action. The front door opens all the way around, and the emergency exit, I don't know why it's different, opens plenty large too. I let the video of the back door opening run a little long so you could see the fly open too. But this is another case of wanting to ask the designers, why? If they had made the doors the same, there would be no front or back to worry about when fitting the fly. Would have been much simpler. There are some reviews online that refer to the odd fit of the footprint when using the full tent setup. They note that the footprint is a good two to three inches too big to be held snug by the tension of the poles, again when using the tent and fly together. They are right. Why, designers? Why? Despite the mysteries, this tent seems like a really good pick for a flexible one to two man rig. I'm glad I bought it. I did get to see a big Agnes Fly Creek two-person setup next door to my camp, and although the one and a half pound sounds good, it is way more expensive and is really not big enough to actually fit two people. Thanks for watching, and see you on the trail.